Montana State is in a place it hasn't been all season. At the 500 mark overall and two games over 500 in the Big Sky. The Bobcats face their sixth rank opponent this weekend, but it comes at an unusual time. The Bobcats are gaining momentum in the Big Sky Conference, winning back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. And right as that happens... We've got an interesting situation. You know, we're playing a late season uh, non-conference game. MSU plays host to Georgia's Kennesaw State of the Big South Conference. Not the most ideal draw for the Cats. I don't think it's a good idea. When, you play, when you're in a league with 13 teams, you don't need to be playing non-conference games week 9 or 10. And so, I mean, that's... It is what it is. But if there is a silver lining... I'm glad that we're playing a team as good as Kennesaw State. If you want to make some noise in November, you've got to play good teams and you've got to have the ability to, to win some of those games. The Owls come to Bozeman as hot as any team in the country, winning seven straight games and cracking the top 25 in this week's FCS poll. They're a very good football team. They're kind of your standard triple option team. You know they're going to have an advantage in time of possession. I think they have, they hold the ball about 32 minutes a game. I thought it might be even a little bit higher than that, but I think that's uh, kind of who they are. But the bonus for Montana State is that it will again play in Bobcat Stadium for what will likely be a grinded out game. They play low scoring games for the most part. Their defense has been tremendous. I mean, I want to say they're giving up less than 300 yards a game in total offense, and, and so that's on paper the best defense that we've played this year. I think it's a, it's a game that has a lot on the line for both teams, and uh, it should be an interesting contest.